Hello, this is Roland from Recompose. Today I'm going to talk about the auto-routing feature in the standalone version of Liquid Notes. Whenever you open up a project in Liquid Notes, like I've done here already, the software is going to ask you for the sound output source. Now whenever you choose from any of those options here, and you see the most popular DAWs being listed here, Liquid Notes is going to automatically set the routing information for you. So you don't have to do anything at all anymore in your DAW at best, or you might have to check the channel information that is being set for the in and out channels just to make sure the MIDI information is correctly being routed. But other than that, there's pretty much nothing you have to do. It's all being done automatically for you. Now let's have a look how that actually works. I'll just cancel that. We'll take GarageBand for the sake of simplicity here. Once we open the arrangement, we're being presented with a, with a dialog box that gives us more information about this particular sequencer. In this case, we're clicking through here. And once we're here in, in the Create Project we, Wizard, we're opening, we're selecting other sequencer. And as soon as we've done that, we see already GarageBand has been opened in the background. Um, the track type analysis is being performed. And once you're done with that, there's additional information about, particular, about that particular sequencer here. Your project is being built up in Liquid Notes. Once you're actually clicking play in here, you'll be able to see that the virtual instruments of GarageBand down here, as well as here in the volume bar, are being used by Liquid Notes. So this is as easy as it is to set up the routing automatically for you and to make sure there's pretty much nothing else for you to be done. It's all been done by Liquid Notes already. Thanks so much for watching.